Let's begin talking about peach tree security and things you can do to protect your peach tree accounting data. Peach tree comes with five options to protect your peach tree accounting data. The first of these is company users and passwords. We're going to cover this one in this video. The four others are controlling user access levels, audit trail, account reconciliation, and backup and restore. Let's talk about company users and passwords. If you're a one-person company in a one-person office with one computer, we still recommend setting up a password on your Peachtree software. To do this, come under the Maintain pull-down menu and come down to Users. This window alerts us that we're about to establish and enable password protection security on our Peachtree software. Click OK and this brings us to the Maintain Users window. Here we can set up our first user. The user ID and password is case sensitive. So next time I come back into my Peachtree Accounting software company, I will need to enter my username and password the same way with a capital T and the rest lowercase, a capital P and the rest lowercase. Note this area, access to maintain users. The first user we set up automatically defaults to access to maintain users. Notice this is shaded and it's already checked. So think of this first user as your administrator. Here, if we're using Crystal Reports with our Peachtree software, we may want to limit access to certain users. Oftentimes, Crystal Reports has confidential information about our company, and for that reason, we may want to limit this access. Down here, we can limit access or customize access to certain areas of our Peachtree software. For the first user, we want to accept the defaults, which is full access to all areas. Now click Save. Peachtree alerts us that we have enabled the security system and click OK. Now close this window. Now let's exit Peachtree and demonstrate how this password and user ID is now required when we come back into the software. Now I'm going to enter my user ID the same way I set it up. Click OK and now we're in our Peachtree company. Now let's talk about setting up additional users. Come back here under the Maintain pull-down menu and come down to Users. Let's click on the magnifying glass and you can see the one user we have set up now. Let's set up an additional user. Now notice these two areas are not shaded now. So if we wanted this person to have access to maintain users, we could check it. We want this person to have limited access. Our bookkeeper comes in and processes only sales and purchase items for us. So we do not want our bookkeeper to have access to system information, the general ledger, payroll, or inventory. Now our bookkeeper only has access to these two areas. And that's how to set up your first user, which is your administrator, and an additional user. In the next video, we're going to cover screen level access levels for each user.